Okay, we'll get started. Welcome everyone. I am Dan Colbert, the presiding commissioner of Lincoln County. To my left, your right, is one of my associate commissioners, Mr. Mike Mueller. Uh, commissioner Bass, uh, some sickness has befallen the uh, Crumbly Burger family, so uh, he's not with us today. But we'd like to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us to celebrate Lincoln County becoming a work ready, certified work ready community. Work Ready Communities is a national program to help job seekers prove career readiness and help employers recruit better prepared employees. In 2015, Lincoln County submitted its application to be a participating county and we completed our goals in early 2018. To date, 891 Lincoln County individuals have successfully tested and now have a National Career Readiness Certificate. The Lincoln County Commission has prepared a resolution to celebrate this occasion. I will read the resolution and then at least two of the commissioners will sign it. It reads, whereas business education, local government and community leaders along with workforce development professionals and local chambers of commerce participated in a voluntary initiative to align education of the workforce with the economic development needs of Lincoln County. And whereas more than 820 individuals in Lincoln County have taken the ACT work keys assessment, which measures skills critical to the on the job success across industries and occupations and have achieved a national career readiness certificate demonstrating their competency. And whereas 44 employers have expressed recognition of the national career readiness certificate as a valuable credential and conveyed their preference to hire individuals who have earned this certificate. And whereas Lincoln County has achieved established goals to demonstrate it, it has a quality workforce with the skills needed by employers. And whereas efforts will continue to ensure Lincoln County works toward closing the skills gap of the workforce as employers needs evolve, making the county more competitive in retaining and attracting businesses. Now therefore be it proclaimed the Lincoln County Commission hereby declares July 17, 2018 as a celebration of Lincoln County's designation as a certified work ready community. We commend business, education, local government, workforce development and community leaders on their collaborative effort to achieve this valuable recognition for Lincoln County. In witness whereof we have hereunto set our hands and affixed the seal of the County of Lincoln the 17th day of July 2018. Let's have a round of applause. Our next item of business is to introduce you to our guest speaker. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Marty Leathers. Uh, Marty Leathers was appointed to serve as the director of the Missouri Division of Workforce Development in October, 2017. Prior to becoming the director of workforce development, he most recently served as executive director of the Center for Workforce Development at East Central College in Union, Missouri. There he played a key role in developing the statewide community college workforce development network and oversaw the college's business and industry training efforts, community education, healthcare, career certification, and WIOA programs. Marty Leathers is a former county clerk, God help you, of <laughs> Crawford County, Missouri, and holds a BS from Southeast Missouri State University, MBA from William Woods University, and is a doctor of management candidate with Webster University. So let's make welcome Marty Leathers. Thank you, Commissioner, both commissioners. Uh, Lincoln County, I'm really excited to be here today. This is always a fun event to come to. I get to tour around a few of these and, and just a couple of uh, things you know, about this is that, that's really cool to me is one is I've been in each of your chairs. Uh, I've been part of the blood, sweat, and tears of the communities that have to work hard to build these programs. These don't happen overnight. These are uh, a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of energy, and so I commend all of you for doing your part, whether it's education, economic development, uh, or, or government. It's, it's incredible to see um, really what comes to fruition as a result of these, and, and, and I think that's really, as I talk about the value of these, I think it's really is what is a byproduct of the actual certification, which really creates uh, more value for our communities. But um, I've also had, in my time at ECC, we served, part of our service region was Warren County, and so I worked real closely with Boone Slick very closely with Joanne and Chad and their teams and uh, just I really 
think they deserve a round of applause because the work that they do to make this happen behind the scenes is uh, a, a pretty big feat. And so uh, you would not be here today if it wasn't for the great hard work and leadership of the team at Boone's Lake. So I think they deserve a round of applause. So Missouri started this initiative a number of years ago, and really what we're trying to do is become uh, the first state in the nation that has all of its counties certified. Missouri had the first county ever in the nation um, with Newton County and, Jasper, and Joplin uh, back right around um, the time of the tornado. It actually was an interesting story because even in the, in, in, in the midst of all of those challenges that they had with the uh, natural disaster, they were able to continue with this progress become and lead the nation in this effort. That then led uh, South Carolina to try to catch up with us, but second in the nation was Franklin County where I was working at the time. Uh, and then South Carolina kind of popped up and then uh, top six in the nation was in Jefferson County. So Missouri continues to be a leader in this feat. South Carolina tries to compete with us. So we're always proud when we can stand up and certify another county and, and talk about our progress. So Missouri actually, so we're at now as of uh, this morning, really officially, we're at 79 percent of our counties being certified. So that's that's 91 of our counties. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty incredible, and I know there's a few that are on the cusp. So in the next few months, we're going to certify at least half a dozen more, and so that will continue to put us progress. So this is is not just a, a an effort to make Missouri proud, but we're making the nation proud, and we have. Uh, the eyes on us of the nation as we as we go through this. So um, you're in good company now with Lincoln County joining the certification process and being a part of, of, of Missouri's certified work ready communities. But why do we care? Why do we want to go through this whole process of becoming certified work ready communities? Well, on the outset, it's, it's so we can hang the banner and say that we have uh, established our labor force in this county as uh, skilled at a specific level, a specific level as it relates to what we consider fundamentals in the workplace, which is reading, mathematics, and locating and understanding information. So there's a series of tests that are, are, are and assessments that are given so we can determine whether someone uh, is a, a silver or a bronze or a gold level or even a platinum level um, um, certified uh, uh, individual and, and really what that means it says that their skill sets uh, align with uh, ACT standards in a way that says that on the job they'll be really proficient in these given uh, areas related because of these skills that they have. What it also does though it tells us areas where we might have gaps in our communities where we might want to skill things up a little bit. So maybe we have uh, a, a certain constituent base that, that has a lower uh, mathematics score and we know that businesses are, are maybe requiring a little bit higher uh, mathematics score. We're able actually to match that and see the gap and so we can truly identify uh, and, and quantify, if you will, the skills gaps in our region so that we can create programming that will help skill them up so we can work with our education leaders and, and to integrate programs and do remediation that helps prepare. But at the end of the day, it's all about giving our communities a, a concept of resiliency, right? It's how do we make sure that um, as, as things change in our economies, and we know the acceleration of change is happening quicker and quicker every day. How do we build and establish and cultivate resiliency in that? And, and really certified work area communities allows us that opportunity to do that because we're able to take a look at what our current assets are, our current abilities, and then what are the needs of our employers, what are the needs of our uh, individuals, and begin to match those. And as we do that, we begin to align ourselves uh, and create this culture of resiliency in our communities, whereas things change, whether it's uh, economic downturn, uh, or one of our major employers may leave, or we have the opportunity to bring in, as Larry does every day, new employers to, to the area, then how do we respond to that? How do we be sure that we have the workforce that's prepared to help those companies be productive as possible? We're just traveling around the state right now in Missouri with two big initiatives, one called Best of Midwest, another called Talent for Tomorrow. Best of Midwest is really all about looking at Missouri's economic development state agency and how can we redesign that to fit the 21st century. Uh, we have a plan that's about 12 years old. Uh, we have some tools that also are a little bit uh, dated and we understand that we need a new plan and a new agency uh, and, a, and a new system and process uh, to, to meet the needs of today's and tomorrow's businesses and today's and tomorrow's workers and communities. And so we're looking real hard about that and we're trying to identify how to become Best of Midwest. And during that process, we've taken a deep look at what we call the hard truce. I like to call them ugly babies. I'm not supposed to say that publicly. But the realities of Missouri's economy is we really don't rank too high when it comes to categories like workforce productivity uh, or uh, you know states to do business. We're, we're anywhere between 9 and 13 in the Midwest and that's from Minnesota to Arkansas, from Indiana to Nebraska. And so we know we can and should do better. Missourians deserve better Missouri. So we've launched this Best Midwest initiative 
uh, as a result of, of, of our uh, need to do that. How is that related to cert certified work ready communities? Well, that's a great tool that we already have in place that we're using to help set Missouri apart. I just talked about how Missouri is leading the nation in this effort, right? That's a category where we are number one in the nation. That's an area where we understand that we uh, are already collaborating in a way that kind of aligns ourselves with um, economic development, education, and workforce development. We're bringing the, the three pieces that help build and sustain our communities and help build and sustain and grow, uh, cultivate our economies together in a way that we never have before in Missouri. Before education does its thing, workforce development, which is the training side, the job center services do their part, and then economic development is trying to serve the needs of businesses to help those businesses stay and grow, as well as attract new. Well, what we're trying to do a little bit differently in Missouri, and what we realize we haven't done well enough in the past is to align those efforts at the state level. At the community level, that's what's been happening with certified work-ready communities. You think about the process you just went through, you had to have education at the table. You had to have government at the table. You had to have employers at the table. You had to have all the key stakeholder groups in the room together to decide how are we going to make this community better, how are we going to certify ourselves, and how are we going to go through this process. So it's time for the state to learn from the communities and to take note from each of you that you're doing to build these same collaboration at the state level among our state agencies and truly align education, employment, and training in our state so that we can do similar things. So we talk about value of certified work ready communities. It's a model that we have that we can prescribe and plug into everything that we're doing when, as it relates to workforce development, education, and workforce development. And just the last piece of it really is the value gives you identity. You're now identified as a certified work ready community. You've earned it. It's just like any other credential. No one can take that away from you. You've earned it. You should be proud of it. And you'll now have to work even harder to maintain it. I think 891 or so tests were given through this process. The good news is you're certified. The challenging news is you've got to do it again in two years. So we'll all be back here to do that again. The key is to contain, is to sustain it and to keep it going. But you'll have that identity and now you have all of the, the tools uh, in place to do that, right? You have the relationships. You, you know what it takes to, you know, I like to use the Independence Day mentality of the spaceships. We can't, you know, take down the spaceships and at the very end they, they say we figured it out. We know how to take them down. But now you figure that out in your community. You figured out what it takes to kind of roll your sleeves up to come together and to do these, these big issues. You should now just use that model in other big projects, whether it's an economic development project or you're looking at how do you uh, realign education in your communities or how do you just simply bring uh, a, a, the support of services to those in need uh, as it relates to the unemployed and the underemployed. So I commend you on this effort. It truly is uh, uh, a very awesome and an amazing feat to have, have made. And um, you're one of the few now in the nation, and you should be very proud of that. So thank you for being bold. Thank you for building resiliency, and congratulations again. At this time, we would like to give Senator Jeannie Riddle an opportunity to come up and uh, say a few words. Thank you all very much for the immense effort that you put in to be a work certified work ready community. I, I can't imagine the hours and hours that the leaders in this community have invested in this as well as our education. And I do talk about Lincoln County and other areas that I go because you have been working with the educators and industry already for quite some time. And we would love to replicate what you already do in other areas of the state. Boone Slick folks, so grateful for all the, the things that you do for us because it's massive and you kind of work behind the scenes and a lot of people don't know, but we do. And you've made a big difference. So I just want to congratulate you. Workforce development is our number one issue in the state of Missouri. And the fact that you guys have worked so hard to get there to change that is massive. And I just want to congratulate you and thank you. And if there's anything that I can do, to help, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. The acknowledgments, and as is the case, Academy Awards, things of that nature, you always forget somebody. So I will give the forgotten someone's uh, congratulations now because I'm sure somebody was omitted and it was purely an accident. Uh, but the county would like to extend sincere and heartfelt gratitude to the many people that have assisted us in becoming a certified work ready community. 
So we would like to thank the following. The workforce staff from the St. Charles Community College and the St. Louis Division of Workforce Development who traveled to Lincoln County Schools to proctor the three-hour work keys test. Also like to thank the Northeast Workforce Development Board for writing a grant to allow us to test 17-year-olds in the local area high schools. I'd like to thank Lincoln County High Schools for coordinating schedules for us to come into their schools every year to proctor the work keys test to their graduating classes. Nancy Wiley with State Technical College of Missouri and her staff for partnering with Sheriff John Cottle and his team to proctor testing to justice involved individuals wanting to improve their chances of employment once released from prison. The Warrenton Job Center team, Janet Hickey, Joanne Turper, staff members Cindy Schweda, Dennis James, Jane Corbin, Denise Van Leer, Jane Kale for the in-house testing of job seekers. Troy Area Chamber Commish, who served as the team leader. They shared and delivered updates at chamber meetings and newsletters and informed many employers of the value to participate in this program. Link County Economic Development, Larry Tucker and Julie Rogers, who actively solicited and explained the program to local employers, resulting in 44 participating Lincoln County employers. This was a major goal of the program. And mostly to the local businesses that believe in this process, signed partnership letters and placed job orders to the Missouri Job Center with preference to hire individuals with the credential. If you have your program, those companies are listed on the back of your program. I won't read through all of those, but take that home. And if you have an opportunity to do business and support these businesses the way they've supported us in this endeavor, please do so. Okay, before we get to the refreshments, in the pictures and uh, rounds of applause and things like that. I think uh, Joanne Turper is the one who came, who came up with this quote from Henry Ford, but I wanna share it because I find it interesting. Coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. So today we are enjoying success. So uh, let's give everyone involved a big round of applause and start to talk. Before we take a break, Governor Parson has issued a proclamation as, as he does for each of our certified work ready communities. So I just want to present this proclamation to the commission. Perfect. Congratulations. Marty, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it.